Meghan uncontrollably screams as she has bowed to Prince George, William and Kate at coronation, ordered by the King. Harry on his knees in front of his father, taking the fealty oath that shuts down everything they've said. As lies in sour grapes, improves that they have always wanted to be in the circle, and makes them look like idiots. Harry is being forced about to Camilla, William, Kate and George, because that's how far down the letter is no no he has to bow to his nephew. Beside that, Meghan will have to bow to Prince George, Catherine and William. Now the family will now have to bow or curse to his future king. Prince George, who is second in line to the throne, may have a significant influence on the coronation of his grandfather King Charles III. The nine-year-old son of Prince William and Kate Middleton is being discussed as a potential participant in the coronation on May 6. The Prince and Princess of Wales are reportedly still debating what would be best for their son, given the spotlight he would unavoidably receive at a ceremony covered by international media, and want to make sure the strain of a formal role won't be too strong, according to The Telegraph and The Guardian. Although attendance for the coronation have not been announced, it is probable that Prince George will be accompanied in Westminster Abbey for the ceremony by his younger siblings, Princess Charlotte, 7, and Prince Louis, 4. If they go, the remainder of the royal family will push them into a corner and ignore them. The public and the remainder of the royal family would remember Prince Harry and Meghan's presence at the coronation. I believe they will essentially be pushed into a corner and marginalized, he said, and some members of the royal family won't want to look them in the eye, others won't want to engage to them, and some will simply ignore them. King Charles's coronation will take place regardless of Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, or anybody else. The historic ceremony, according to a royal specialist and historian, will be planned with extreme care, leaving nothing up to the guests' discretion or improvisation. Dr. Owen stated that Harry and Meghan won't be able to influence the outcome of this situation. This event will be entirely under the authority of the royal household. The rehearsal schedule is going to be quite demanding. Everything will be planned up to the last detail, including the order in which the event will go, and the roles that each performer will play. They will have sidekicks at the edge of this event if Harry and Meghan attend the event that day. Buckingham Palace will have complete control over the media narrative of the ceremony, down to the finer details, Dr. Owens continued, much like it did during the Queen Elizabeth II burial service. Dr. Owens stated that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had been welcomed to the coronation, as one of their spokesmen confirmed over the weekend. The palace will have the ability to select, among other things, what photographs broadcasters may share with the general public. I can guarantee that the Duke already got email contact about the coronation from His Majesty's staff, they claimed. They said, however, that a quick decision about the Duke and Duchess's attendance will be made public right away.